They'll be calling you a radical. Hi, Kevin Blanche. I wanted to get this at 500 days of Fukushima. I wanted to talk about cancer and nuclear fallout. Not from a, as I like to say, not as a commentary, as a documentary. Look, as I have been an anti-nuclear advocate my whole life, as I've been ranting and raving and carrying on about this long before Fukushima happened. As I've been, after Fukushima happened, I gave the earliest report in the world as it flowed out of my brain. Look, then, after I had been screaming and ranting and raving that nuclear fallout gives you leukemia, what happens? I get leukemia. As I've been fighting for my life for 285 days. As I got leukemia after, and to all you assholes out there, to you assholes, oh, it's hard to take this guy, he flings his hands around, you know, guy Busby writing songs and freaking, you know, these assholes, these Johnny Come Latelys, these opportunists that are trying to make a dime off this, fuck you. As my hat, you people, it's hard to take serious with this hat. Let me tell you assholes something about my hat. As people that watch my vlog and been watching me, I started carrying on about nuclear fault long before Fukushima. I gave the earliest report. I screamed and ran and raved and carried on that nuclear fallout gives you thyroid cancer first, then leukemia, and it kills you, gets into your bone marrow as the silent evil killer. Then I get it. As I got it, that hat was given to me in the hospital for several different reasons become a giant metaphorical giant in the context of Fukushima. As I was 119 pounds, bald, dying, clawing, scratching, grabbing, hanging on to very life by a thread as I was in critical condition for 169. That's where that hat comes from. That hat orange, the leukemia code. Jim Hansen, who refused contemporary medicine be his, his religious beliefs on a simple staph infection died when he should be alive he refused a simple antibiotic that's what that hat is all about the GOP trying to kill Bert and Ernie which is factual look as Fukushima happened is the capitulation to what I call World War 4 or World War 3 look Let's make no mistake about this. No mistake about this. This is a war that is being waged and fought. This is the biggest class warfare ever waged in the history of the world. The 1% has waged class war on us. They have destroyed This is class war of epic proportion. As Rupert Murdoch and his machine, as GOP TV, as the corporate rink kissers, as they've dummied you down and they feed you whatever. You think this coincides is any coincidence that BP destroys the Gulf and the food chain. As the GMOs, Monsanto destroys our food chain. As TEPCO destroys, you think this is just co uh, coincidence and does not coincide with the great conservative movement? As I, say it, I said two years ago, it has to capitulate. The Tea Party radicals, it has to be the capitulation. It has to be over, it will swallow us whole and it will be over. I wanted to get this up now because I'm getting ready to hit the road to finish up my two books. And, you know, I've been reading my post ignorance online, getting ready to try to open my new art studio, getting ready to try to finish my books and do what I do as I've been financially destroyed. I could write a whole book just on the healthcare system alone. I could write a whole, I could write 20 books on nuclear fallout. Look, as my great doctor who stepped in and saved my life, as Fukushima happened, 3-11-11, I've had this thing with the number 11 my whole life, and I could go into a whole book about just the number 11. As both my daughters ended up pregnant with my first little grandsons, who were born within days after this thing happened. When that year come around, I was so nervous. I was so nervous, and I remember early in the year thinking, God, I hope I don't die this year. And I was counting down the days, out that much, and then I almost died that year. It is like the subconscious, I really, really honestly believe, as I told my doctor in there, who's from the same town in northern Denmark as I am, as my bloodlines are, as I talk about Danish philosophy, and I said, the subconscious will speak to you. It will tell you everything. And my subconscious, when I was critical, hanging on, given less than 10% chance of living, given three months to live, my subconscious says, you are not going to die. That's what gave me hope. That's why I believe, because I listened to it. As I thought that number 11, I had a bad vibe my whole life about that year, yet so much good has come out of the year. My two little grandsons, I think this needs to be said as far as humanity marching forward. They're little one-year-old boys. They're a week apart. My, they're both 
to have my name and my father's name who was nuked to death in the trenches. Their favorite foods, both of them, blackberries. Do you think that is crazy? One-year-old kids that just go crazy over black. I give them to them, or my moms give them to them, they go crazy. It is the human, human, human trying to counter this nightmare as we will spend 50, 100, 200 years trying to counter this madness as future generations will look back at it and they will hate us. They will hate us as this is the most ignorant, worst generation in the history of the world. The baby boomer generation, the echo boomer is the most ignorant, is the most self-centered, is the most self-indulged people in the history of the world. And future generations will spend 10, 20, 100, 200, 500 trying to counter the poison that we've done to this. This is World War III and they have waged it and it has been the GOP indoctrination who supports it and the false equivalencies that you guys get into all you TV shows you got to do the false equivalent no no false equivalence with me this is the GOP and the GOP voter who is to blame and everybody says oh the Democrats and the Republicans are the same yeah they're both conservatives as the great conservative movement as Ayn Rand philosophical idealism at the 500 days of Fukushima as cancer let's Guild this in gold, cast it in cancer. We are the thyroid cancer capital of the world here in Utah. Bar none, no one is even close. We are the autism capital of the world. Bar none, no one even close. Why? 300 open air tests in Nevada. As Dr. Hansen, the brilliant genius who saved my life, could be the greatest oncologist in this country, said, both my father and my brother died young of thyroid cancer. We are all downwinders here, Kevin. Every single one of us. As it cannot Every study proves that leukemia is not genetic. It cannot be genetic, but it will happen in families because I was exposed just like my father was exposed. I actually believe that the exposure to my father probably saved my life as my rare form of leukemia ended up in tumors. I believe, and I've ran this by these brilliant oncologists, my case is being tracked all over the world because there's only two of us. There's two of us right now, this beautiful, incredible female right now, 33-year-old, who it breaks my heart, I'll start crying even thinking about her. She's had two bone marrow heads. Us two in there fighting for our lives at the same time. We're the only two in the United States that, that coincide with each other. As this is being tracked heavily, I believe that my father being new in the test in 51, the most hard one, which the atomic marines and the veterans who are put in those trenches that is, is still covered up to this day, even though the pictures exist, even though the video, even though the lawsuits I filed, the Justice Department still to this day, the Pentagon still to this day denies it. I believe his chromosome was so lit up as he impregnated my mom and I was born. I believe my body's been fighting off plutonium season 134, season since birth. I've run these by these great and they says, Kevin, that is, that is something that needs to be explored. Of course, we'll never get a big end set. As 500 days of Fukushima has flowed over our bodies. First, thyroid cancer. The incidence of thyroid cancer will go up just like it did in Utah when the open air tests were raging across us in the 50s and 60s. Just like it did in Chernobyl. Next, the much evil, nastier, more evil cut. 10, 5, 15, 20 years later, maybe less than that, leukemia, as it enters your bone marrow. Once it enters the bone marrow, oh, 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 your chance of surviving, what I chance to have survived so far, so far as I wear this shirt, I kicked its ass, but I know you can't just kick its ass. You have to kill the motherfucker because it likes to come right back on you. Your chance of survival are very low, but people do survive as they fight. Fukushima, the plume, the plutonium plume. I'm the first report that reported. I am the first report that screamed my head up that plutonium is going to the Pacific. All these Johnny come lately, these people that want to make a dime. I've not made a penny. I could give a fuck if I ever make a fucking dime. I don't want to make a fucking dime off fucking Fukushima. I almost cost me my life. I will make my fucking way some other way. 500 days of Fukushima. You follow my reports from day one. Do you think this is coincidence? Because you want to talk expert, not in commentary, but in documentary. You want to say, oh, he flings his hands, he screams, he yells, he wears these crazy hats, this thing. Because I am the artist. But it is always the artist. It is always the artist who sees first. Like Malay as he steps back and views from the broader perspective. Like Polak saw Kadinsky. Everyone saw Simple Line Against the Landscape. 
the Smithson saw it first. Everyone saw the dynamics of color in motion. But Pollock saw it way before others saw it. Everybody saw the fracturing of a cubism, of a political activist who used his art to try to move minds. But he did it first, Picasso. It is the art. As I reported this, it came out because I am the artist. That is why this is not. Why do people cannot understand nuclear fallout? Why can they not understand nuclear fallout? I've come to the conclusion it is this. It is this. They're so afraid of it, one. Two, it is conspiratorial through the 1% corporate media evil fucks who have a lot of blood on their hands. As this plume is going to hit, the plutonium plume is going to hit the coast of California. It has not hit yet. And all you morons in California, in Washington, in Oregon, and on the coast of freaking Canada, in Vancouver, you have seen nothing yet. You have seen... This will be a major, major epidemic. This is the story of our time. This is the biggest story of our time as millions will die, and people say, oh, it'll kill 1,300, it'll kill it. Just like they told us it killed 4,000 at Chernobyl. It kills that a week to this day. This is the evil silent killer that keeps on giving. It keeps on giving, as there are no safe levels of nuclear fallout. There are no safe levels, as Richard Miller's incredible book. And you know, Carol Gallagher, she's around. She has a Facebook. Her incredible work, Ground Zero, her book, John Goffman, his book. Those are the real geniuses. Those are the people that were fighting this when this was not in vogue. Carol Gallagher, Leonard Byrd, Richard Miller, Wallace Stegner, John Goffman. Those guys, when this was not in vogue, read their books. Every one of them comes to the same thing. Leewood Einstein, Sokolov, all of them said, as they won Nobel Prizes, this is a cumin. It builds up. The half-life is 24,100 years. It does not go away. The solution to pollution is not dilution. This is not pollution. You put this in the combination with the GMOs, the nuclear fallout, the corporate banksters, the 1% freaking, this is a war. And it has been waged on us by the conservative movement, the great conservative movement from 1980 till present. The Ayn Rand free market fairy tales, if you believe in that kind of thesis, like I said, Ayn Rand is, she makes L. Ron Hubbard look like a sane person. And people say, oh, this guy is crazy, his hats, whatever. Oh no, I'm not crazy. You are crazy. As art, as my videos are just like a blotter test. I have always been just like a blotter test. I have so many people that look at my art as I don't show my art, but I'm getting ready to because I'm opening a studio soon. There'll be, I have a, so much post-ignorance art that has never been seen before. So much as I've painted my whole life. I've kept it under wraps. It's a blotter test. My videos are a blotter test. Me using the word fuck does not say anything about me. My videos, throwing my hands around, my hat, everything, it says everything about you. Because you have been groomed, you have been postured, you have been lazied into this thinking that I can do, I can do, I can do, I can have, I can want, I can have anything I want without hard work, without knowledge. Oh no, not anymore, not anymore. Nuclear fallout is a complicated subject. It's like the derivatives market. It is a complicated subject. And people don't want to take time to learn it. It's invisible. It's tasteless. Everybody says, oh, it's not there. I don't see it on my face because we are the ignorant reactionary society morons that we are because we've been postured and groomed for 30 years into guns go flag, guns go flag, wrap up, freaking 10 second sound bites because I'm a fucking moron as I drive my shiny car back and forth to my styrofoam mold infested piece of shit, fake rock, fake Botex, fake breasts, fucking hair extensions from executed Chinese prisoners as we get rid of fucking tariffs and then wonder why we have no fucking job as we fucking get rid of the EPA and destroy fucking environmental protection and wonder why our kids are getting autism. As the autism rate, and I think this needs to be said, I think in the context of 500 days of Fukushima, I think this needs to be studied, and I've studied more than hardcore. Why is Utah's autism rate 1 in 44? 1 in 88, some studies have shown nationally. 1 in 118 worldwide. Why? Why? Is our gene pool inbred? Hell no. These Mormon kidnappers, as I call missionaries, have dragged people in from every corner of the earth for 157 years. We have one of the most diverse gene pools in the world. One. Two. Is it vaccinations? We don't vaccinate, and I proved this in my PhD today. We do not vaccinate any differently than any 
we vaccinate on the national mean have for a hundred years. Why? Why? GMOs? Oh yeah, there's no doubt that GMOs are causing this. It is the lack of environmental protection laws of 30 years of the Mormons at Carpenter ever tapped medicine. That radical neocon John Bircher, who destroyed the Mormon church, as David O. McKay was our freaking leader when I was a kid. He was a Democrat. Utah was all Democrats. They were liberal. It was the environmental capital of the world. One guy, the John Birch radical, ever tapped Benson, became president of the Mormon church, and he indoctrinated and incorporated these people into the Ayn Rand philosophical idealism to the free market fairy tales. You could poison, go build a bonfire at freaking let's go tap old faithful let's freaking you know just environmental poison as we have Kennecott we have Fersenia we have the refineries we have all this environmental poison going on in Utah in the last 30 years as we've laxed our EPA laws we've laxed and we've laxed them all these places are here because 45 other states will not let them in that's why that's why the open air test it is the same correlation with Fukushima Gildas and gold cast in concrete. This documentary work has been done. Read Keller Gallagher's book. Read Richard Miller's book. Read Leonard Bowe's book. Listen to my freaking thesis as far as my father being marched into the trenches and dying of leukemia. As Now, this is not commentary. This is a documentary as I got leukemia. And I am writing a book about this experience. As I had written my big, broad novel, I've been reading my little art book at my post ignorance online laying the foundation for my broader novel I had to go and rewrite it because there was another chapter as I got leukemia after I ran it and raved and carried on the 500 days of Fukushima you have seen nothing yet the next chapter of this will be as the plume hits California the plutonium not the debris plume May, I mean let's be clear let's be clear let's be very clear not the debris plume the plutonium plume has not hit there yet it's going to hit there, as I am the one who reported plutonium is... Watch that video of me screaming my head off. As I use the word fuck and carry on. I'm going on the road to finish up reading my book. I'm getting ready to take a couple trips. As I've gone broke. As I'm getting ready to open my art studio. As I'm getting ready to freaking do my Blanche Schwartz gig. As I will keep this vlog alive. Because this is the story of our time. This is the story and this is one incredible important story. Is it a coincidence that I got leukemia after I was ranting and raving and carrying on about leukemia? I don't know. Is my subconscious, was it meant to be? As activism is, does not, you don't pick activism, it picks you. As you, you know, like I said, these great writers wrote about the nuclear fallout. We are all downwinders. There are no safe levels of plutonium and millions. As we're seeing the incidence of thyroid cancer jump up all over the world right here, right now. Wake up, fools. Wake up, fools. And these morons that tell you this, go talk to a serious, serious oncologist who treats patients daily in Utah, in Utah, right here, as we are the cancer capital of the world. Us in the Ukraine, why? Because we got more exposure than anyone. And all you people across Oklahoma, across Colorado, across the central part of the United States. As Kara Gallagher posts that picture of Richard Miller's map, that is so very, very real. As Radchick is doing incredible work trying to report where it's raining. As Miss Milky Clown has tried to report this. As so many people have done so much brilliant work, history will look back on these people. History will look back on this path as this story will be told for 10, 20, 50, 100, 200 years as people try to counter off and say, what is the matter with this fucking generation? Why did they do this to, to incorporate the 1% so they can have another yacht? As the GOP voter gets on his freaking hands and knees and kisses the ring, that's who's to blame, as you've been ordering, as the radicals in Hairspray, the fake radical Christians, that's what this is all about. You're no Christians, you're the devil, and history will view you who what you are, as the me, 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 ignorant assholes that you are. Kevin Blanche, 500 Days of Fukushima and County. I didn't want to...